Hello, this is David Benign from XL Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you multi-picture layouts using artificial intelligence within PowerPoint using two secret features. So how to go from something ugly like this to something more prominent like this or with captions like this. All right, so let's dive in. Now, let's say you have these images and notice that they are different dimensions. I can go if I have Office 365 to design ideas over here and it will show me some cool layouts. I like the three picture ones, the way it does this kind of uh, angular partitions. But notice as well how it has cleverly decided where the face is and cropped it in that area. You can still edit it, so you can still go here and go crop and undo the editing, but it's using AI to decide intelligently where you are. Um, now, the issue with that comes in something like this. Well, two issues. Firstly, not everyone has Office 365 that allows for that design ideas feature. Secondly, if you have captions like Nature's Longest Next, um, only 4,000 left in the wild, and you click here, it doesn't work. At the moment, design ideas does not support shapes. But there is another tool that I'll show you later on in this video that can fix this issue. So let's continue with designer and then we'll come back to that one. So keeping on designer, you can have multiple ones. Here we have six different images. Design ideas will again give us some cool ideas of how to put it. And again, it intelligently decides where the face of the animal is. <laughs> but I don't know, sometimes it seems to jump over the face and put something else on the face. So it picks out the body, but I guess not necessarily the face like that. Interestingly, if you go above six, it doesn't work. So if I go here and I do, uh, sorry, let me just make that blank. If I do design ideas, this does not work. However, if I change the layout and design ideas is very sensitive to layouts on the home tab, do use these and understand them if you're using design ideas particularly title only blank title and content seem to work the best and maybe these two for headers as well so if i do title only still got nothing but if i write animals in here and click out of it look at that <laughs> isn't that crazy it might change that later on it might be a bug but yeah i find that particularly breathtaking in fact if you go with multiple images you can go from six to nine, but 10 is too much. So this is nine. And the moment I copy and paste an extra image on there, uh, here, it will often, yeah, give you too many, or doesn't give you design ideas there. All right, so what happens if you decide, you like this layout, but you know, this guy, you don't want him to be a hair. You want to move them around. You just don't have that much flexibility with which one you position. And that's why the second feature come in. And, and this second feature is something that has existed in PowerPoint for about 10 years. So everyone has this. It's really, really hidden there. And it allows you as well to go into unlimited pictures as well. So in about unlimited, but here I've got 50 and it seems to be working okay. Don't go too much more because... Your file size will be absolutely enormous. Uh, but yeah, but let's look at how to do that. Okay, so going back to the image that I had near the beginning, this one. If you select all your data like that, then you go to the picture format, you get this thing in picture layout. Again, this is not a new feature. It's actually not artificial intelligence. It's actually using a smart art feature. Hover over them and it will give you some layouts. And this even works whether or not you have some captions. So, yeah, this is quite a quirky different one there. We'll just keep going until you get them. This is quite a standard one. Let's go with that one. So what you can do is this is a tool called SmartArt because you get the SmartArt design ribbon. And here on the left, you get this that pops up with your text editing pane. So if you want to match the text that you wrote, only 4,000 in the wild to the tiger, just cut and paste there, 
one soul over Asia, that was the lion, cut and paste there, and this one, cut and paste there. Uh, no, that wasn't needed. So cut and paste that one. And there we have it. You can, with the smart art feature, you can change some colors. So with this one, the colors are kind of uh, minor. It's just basically the background of these boxes. Uh, but if you go for other smart art designs and you can change the layout from here, it can give you some more obvious changes if you change the colors like that. So yeah, so that's a really good feature. And what this does is it crops them all in the same dimensions, doesn't cleverly crop as much as the others. So as you can see, the face and the body is not as prominent, but it's done an okay job and it fixes a lot of the issues that the other one has. Namely, it works with shapes. So that's it. You can still move them around. Um, I wouldn't move them around too much whilst it's smart art, but it does things like it's responsive as you move the box like that. Again, something smart art doesn't do. And if you want to convert this to have full flexibility, you can then go to smart art design and convert to shapes. And then you have one group shapes and then you can just ungroup and you have everything individually and you can move them around as you wish. That's a really cool thing and a really good feature. All right, so as I said, this is another video that I have on PowerPoint design ideas. Um, I'm publishing a bunch. Uh, something they can do with this, for example, with a bulleted list, is it can give you icons for each of these, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> so I have a video showing you how to do that as well. And last, last point. It's called images, but it actually works. The design ideas works in the same way, whether you have an SVG icon, which this is, whether you have a an icon using the insert icons, whether you have a video, this is a video, and this is a GIF. The GIFs only auto play when you go to full screen mode. But yeah, it works with all of those. All right, great. If you liked that video, please do like and subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing a whole load of more of these out. And look at my other videos on Designer. Thanks for watching.